Hey guys, it's time to finish answering up the rest of the questions that you sent in for my Ask Katie video. We still have a ton of amazing questions to answer and two more fan videos, so I hope you enjoy the rest of these. So next question is from Hellkaiser97. Which Tomb Raider game developed by Crystal Dynamics is the worst and which is the best? So for me, the worst would be Legend and the best would be Underworld. Next up is from iJason. Dear Katie, are you going to host another contest like the Tomb Raider statue one you did back in December? I would really like to take part as I am a huge Tomb Raider fan. So you guys know that I absolutely love doing contests. I've done, um, I think, 14 now in total. And the one you're talking about was the Snow Day statue one, and that was my biggest contest that I've ever held. So I'm absolutely hoping that I'll be able to do another one like that. I just have to persuade another company to donate a prize for me. So um, just keep checking my Twitter and my site and all of my social media sites. Um, when I do start a contest, I'll let everybody know. So I'm hoping to do another one sometime soon. Next up is from Byron Z. Man. I hope I pronounced your name right. Hi Katie, out of Tomb Raider 1 to 6, what are your favorite levels in each one of them? So this is a really hard question because uh, it always changes for me. But I would say Tomb Raider 1, Obelisk of Camun. Tomb Raider 2, Venice. Tomb Raider 3, um, Nevada Desert. Tomb Raider 4, Cleopatra's Palaces. Tomb Raider 5, uh, 13th Floor. And Tomb Raider 6, uh, I'd have to go with the Louvre Galleries. Great question. Okay, next up is from Mr. Boom Games. In Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, can you ever get Lara's Pistols? What are your top five Tomb Raider games? Who is your favorite voice actress? So you can get Lara's Pistols in Angel of Darkness, but you need a patch. And I think it's only available for PC. I'm not too sure, though. Um, I have the patch on my website. You can download it. Just check out my extra footage section in Angel of Darkness. And as far as my top five Tomb Raider games go, um, hmm... Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider 5, Tomb Raider 6, Tomb Raider 2, and I'd say Tomb Raider 4. And uh, favorite voice actress, uh, Janelle Elliott. And uh, Scruff1996 also wanted to know that question too. And uh, alright, next up is also from Mr. Boom Games. Three more questions. How long did it take you to complete each Tomb Raider game? What is your favorite level in each Tomb Raider game? Which Lara looks the best out of the games? I'm not sure how long it takes me to beat the games, but I know it's about three or four times longer than it should take, because I stop like every two seconds to take screenshots. Um, I take about 3,000 a level, so that's why it takes me so much longer to get through them. And uh, your next question, I already answered the first six games, so the last two I would say uh, Japan would be my favorite level, and uh, the remnants from Tomb Raider Underworld. As far as which Lara looks the best out of all the games, I would say either Angel of Darkness or Underworld. They both looked really great. Alrighty, next up is from, I have no idea how to pronounce this, ERTXZ18. Hey Katie, what was your personal opinion of the storyline from Tomb Raider Underworld? And a second question, how high would you rank Tomb Raider 2 out of all the Tomb Raider games? So as far as the storyline for Tomb Raider Underworld, I wasn't a big fan of bringing that love back again. It seemed, you know, that was from Tomb Raider 1, uh, so I didn't think it was very creative. I would have liked to see a brand new storyline, but um, as far as Legend versus Underworld, I definitely enjoyed Underworld more. And uh, your other question, how high would I rank Tomb Raider 2? Uh, according to my other question I answered, I guess it would be number 4. Alrighty, next question is from Casey Wellard. Who is your favorite Tomb Raider villain? How old were you when you started playing Tomb Raider? Was Tomb Raider your first game? Did you have Tomb Raider 1 before Tomb Raider 2 or 3? So I really liked Sophia Lee and Eckhart, but I think Eckhart would probably be my favorite one. He was uh, he had more of a story than all the other villains, I think, so that's why he was more interesting to me. Um, I started playing Tomb Raider when I was 12, and I started out with Tomb Raider 1 demo, and then I played Tomb Raider 2, and then I came back and got Tomb Raider 1, the full version, and then I played that. The next three questions are also from Casey Wellard. 
Do you own, have you played any of the portable Tomb Raider games? Like the ones for Game Boy Color or the much worse ones for the DS? What did you think of them? And will you review Angel of Darkness? So I've never tried any of the portable ones. The only handheld console I have is a PSP. So I've never tried any of the ones for Game Boy or DS. And yes, I absolutely will review Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. Um, I'm doing them all in order, like I said before, so uh, bear with me. It's going to take a little while to get to it, but um, that's what I'm actually really looking forward to review. Okay, next up we have a video from Pennywise Games. Hey Katie. Um, my question is, what was the hardest game to play in the Tomb Raider Classic series? <laughs> Thanks for sending in your video. Um, I think the hardest game, oh, I think it's a toss up between Tomb Raider 3 and Tomb Raider 4. They both had really big levels so you got lost pretty easily. They both had really hard traps and uh, the vehicles also made it more of a challenge but oh, I really can't pick it's between those two though. Next up is from J Charmed Freak. Have you ever met any other Tomb Raider fans you met on the internet? If not, is there anyone you'd like to meet someday? I have never met any Tomb Raider fans uh, that I talked to on the internet, and I've never actually met any Tomb Raider fans at all in person, uh, so I would really like to someday, and as far as who I want to meet, I want to meet as many of you as possible, and um, definitely the ones that I've been writing for a long time as well, you know who you are. Next question is from FTW Aiden, I think for the win Aiden, another question from him. What is your opinion on the Tomb Raider movies? And did you know the people who made Iron Man are making a new Tomb Raider movie? So I enjoyed the Tomb Raider movies. I think I liked the first one better than the second. Uh, they were both really entertaining and uh, I think Angelina did a great job. Uh, I do have some complaints, I guess, about it. They messed up some of the facts, and uh, when the first movie came out, I remember talking to one of my friends at Core Design, and we were talking about, you know, how did they change her eye color, and they got her butler's name wrong. Like, why did they do that? <laughs> so we, uh, we went back and forth about little things like that, but overall they were really great movies and very entertaining to watch. Next question is from Scruff1996. Who is your favorite Lara voice actress? List the Tomb Raider games from best to worst. And if you could add one new move in a new Tomb Raider game, what would it be? So like I said before, Janelle Elliott is my favorite voice actress. And best to worst, uh, Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider 5, 6, 2, 4, 1, uh, Underworld, and Legend. And as far as a new move, maybe something like a drop kick or some sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat again. I really like that in Angel of Darkness, that was a lot of fun. So maybe something like that would be cool to add in again. And next question is from Family Guy 1990 able Dear Katie, if you had to choose, what is your favorite two murder story you've written and why? This is a hard question because you're asking me to judge my own work. Um, I think right now my favorite story is A Room in Waiting because it's my last one and I think every time I release a new story that's my favorite one until I write a new one just because it's my newest one and um, I think I improve from each story and A Room in Waiting was particularly tough uh, because I think it was the most complex story I've written so far. I had a lot of um, temples and puzzles and a lot of things to keep track of so I literally had like 20 pages uh, writing down what happened in each temple so I wouldn't get anything messed up. But uh, I think that one is my favorite right now, but when I write another one, that one will probably take over. <laughs> Next question is from Winston Sicol. I absolutely love your name. Every time I see it, I get a good laugh out of it. Lara has a natural, and maybe supernatural, talent for breaking the laws of physics. What's the most unrealistic or improbable thing she's done in any game? This is a great question. Um, the first one that came to mind was the cutscene in Tomb Raider Chronicles when she is at the opera house and she like side flips onto the railing, jumps under the curtain, falls down. Um, you know, at the speed she was falling, she should have definitely broken at least an ankle. So I think that broke uh, the laws of physics in that one. 
The next question is from Hunter Wolf, and he sent in a video. Hey, Katie. Um, I have a couple questions for you, and I'll start with this one. If you could join Lara in any of her adventures, which game would you choose to join her in, and why? Is there a certain baddie you'd like to face, or maybe an artifact that you'd think would be cool to hunt down? Um, second, what is your favorite zombie game and why? Anybody who follows your Twitter knows that you're a big zombie fan, so I thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, which Tomb Raider game do you think would be cool zombified? I think it would be pretty awesome to fight some zombie soldiers in Area 51. And last, if you could vacation in any location Lara's been to, which would it be and why would you choose that place? It could be from the games or the movies or the books, whatever one you think would be really awesome. All right, see ya. Hey Hunter, thank you so much for sending in your video. I love your questions. Um, if I could join Lara on any of her adventures, I think I'd choose Tomb Murder 3. She visited all over the world, so I think that would be um, an amazing opportunity to see all those places. And specifically, I'd like to get into Area 51 and see what that's all about. And um, visit Antarctica and London and South Pacific Islands all over, so I think that would be really cool. And as far as my favorite zombie game, uh, right now it's Left 4 Dead 2. I seem to play a lot of that. and. Um, I play with a similar group of people all the time, so we struck up some cool friendships and we all give each other shit when we <laughs> shoot each other or screw something up, so it's a lot of fun. And um, which Tomb Raider game would be cool zombified? I love that question. Um, I'm thinking Angel of Darkness, maybe the Lou of Storm Drains level, I think that would be cool. It's very dark and grungy and... Um, I think that would be a really good setting for some zombies. And Angel of Darkness already has some really weird creatures in it, so I think zombies would fit in there perfectly. <laughs> I love that question. And if I could vacation anywhere from the games, that is a tough question. I think it's between Egypt and maybe the South Pacific Islands. Always wanted to go to Egypt, and um, but I'm also a, a beach person, so South Pacific Islands I think would be cool too. So the last question is from E. Johnson FF13. In the intro of Tomb Raider 2, after the monk killed the dragon, the next person you see is a man with fangs and dragon eyes. Is that man the last boss in the game? And if he is, how come he just didn't go back to his human form? I don't think he's the last boss, um, because you can see that he sort of collapsed, but the video gets cut before we see him actually hit the ground. So um, it looks to me like maybe he died, so I don't, I don't think it is the last boss. Alright, those are all the questions. Thank you so much to everybody who sent them in, and of course the fans that sent in videos as well. I had a lot of fun answering your questions, and uh, we will definitely do this again sometime. So take care, and I will see you guys soon.